All right, welcome into the kitchen. This is Brandy from United Supermarkets. Hello. Hi. Okay, so you're in today because last year you guys really were dominant in the big cheese, right? Yes, we won them all except for Kids' Choice. I mean, it was it was crazy. Now, how did you tell us about your recipe that you did last year? Well, it's jalapeno popper macaroni okay. and cheese. Mm -hmm. um, How'd you come up with it? Me and my husband, we were laying in bed. I was trying to figure out what kind of recipe I was going to do. And uh, that night I'd made jalapeno poppers because it's one of my favorite sure. foods. I mean, it's one of everybody's favorite it's foods, right? The bomb. Let's talk. Yes. Okay. So you just thought, how I just put it in a Mac? Well, yeah, of course. Anything goes good in macaroni and cheese. You know what? You are correct, my dear. You are correct. That is Okay, so take us through how you make it. Um, I took about a pound and a half of uh, bacon, and I cooked it up to where it was uh, before it gets a little brown. Okay. Uh, the jalapenos, they're not as spicy this time of year, so I used about 10 jalapenos. And you did a real small dice of that, Yes, right? I diced them up pretty small. And I just cooked them all in here together until the bacon was pretty crispy and everything was... Uh, already you know cooked off and everything and let me ask you this too do you add any oil or you get everything from the bacon the fat bacon, you don't need anything else the bacon gives all okay. the fat okay sounds good and so you cook that down takes a little while because you're going to get to this point right yes to this point right here to where it looks like that okay so then what do we do so then next um, step you take your macaroni and cheese, which is our base that we use at United. Which is so delicious, by the way, it is. even by itself. It's our base. We use it. Uh, we uh, have it manufactured at uh, Prater's. Our chef came up with the recipe. That way we have the same mac and cheese at every single United. I love it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you take your cream cheese, because oh. you have to have cream cheese and jalapeno popper. poppers. Sometimes you forget the cream cheese and the popper. No, no, no. You can't do that in you this case. You have to have the cream cheese. Okay. A lot of people do it different. I was just doing it simple. You just mix that all up in there. You take about, oh, three-fourths of this mixture uh -huh. and just mix it all up in there. I save a little bit to put on top. Ooh. And you just mix it all up in there to where goodness. it looks. Yes, it that's is some good. Bacon goodness, right there. Everybody loves bacon. Everybody loves jalapeno poppers. Yes, and they like a kick. You know, that's one of the things that I've noticed about these. The the one the recipes that are really successful at the, this event, a lot of them have a little kick to them. You know, a green chili, a jalapeno. Oh something. yes, you have to. You know. Okay, and then what are you? Are you gonna add some crunch? Well, for the crust, I put a crust on it. Oh. So I put about two sleeves of the Ritz crackers and about um, a cup of butter just to get it all stirred up and, okay. and get it all mixed together. I didn't together. even think about making a crust. You put it on the bottom or the top? On the top. Oh my gosh. Give it a little extra little crunch, a little extra kick to it. Okay. Um, then you take all your macaroni and cheese, you just a little pan, anything you have at home, a baker's pan, anything. Just put it all in there. And then you there. just cook it down. You can put it in there, top it off with that crunchy. Yeah, and you want to put it in the oven for a few minutes. Um, brown up your crust. Oh, y'all, this is going to be really good. Are we excited about it? I'm excited about it. How many of these pans did you make last year, by the way? Well, <laughs> I can't even remember. I know I did this all day long for about eight hours. <laughs> what did we serve? I think no. we served about oh 1,500 people or something like that last year. It so is a labor of love, right? It is. Well, it looks delicious. I'm very excited. We're gonna stick it in the oven. Oh, then oh you gotta you're gonna top sprinkle it, off. it. You gotta oh, put some girl. stuff on it. Girl, gotta there have you go. Some and you know, there's a little grease left over from it. it just gives a little flavor. <laughs> just put it in there. <laughs> yes. Listen, we are not new year, new you. This is old me. This is 2018. Yeah. Let's, you know, we gotta celebrate this. Yes. All right. We're gonna tell you more details on the big cheese. Plus, we're gonna show you how it looks when it's finished. It looks delicious. I'll give you a teaser of that when we come back. Y'all don't go anywhere.